The first terrible thing I'm going to destroy with my half-breed blades hatchet is this sewing machine. The sewing machine's caused my wife a whole bunch of distress, frustration. It works just enough to give you hope, but when it comes to the crunch, it fails. There's nothing you can do to fix it. It's just a hateful, awful thing. So it's gonna get destroyed with the half-breed hatchet. So this hatchet is really sold as a demolition, sort of breaching or destruction tool rather than a woodcrafting tool. Right now it's pretty much press, pristine, pristine, pristine. But uh, we're gonna put it through its paces by destroying some shitty shit. Just see, does it paper cut? Ah, oh, it sort of paper destroys. <laughs> it's a very fat angle that uh, does technically cut, but definitely not for that. It's enough of an edge to feel like an edge, but to still feel thick enough to also feel a bit like a wrecking tool. See how it goes. good I um, can see there's some like some light flecks on the edge there but it's really nothing too crazy considering what I just did that was cutting into plastic and you know, a fair bit of metal by the time I got to the core and uh, you know what honestly a little bit of a touch up and you'd be able to get that back to factory no worries at all this is a d2 type steel but it's obviously very thick so even a more you know historically brittle steel like that is gonna do pretty well for that sort of job on an edge that looks like that but uh I don't know, first, uh, first destroyed thing, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, the next hateful thing I'm gonna destroy is our AGL solar feeding contract. So we expanded our solar system. We added double the panels, really sort of drawing a lot more energy, contributing it back to the grid. And AGL changed our feeding from nine cents per kilowatt to three cents per kilowatt. So we ended up getting higher bills for putting more solar panels on. So fuck you AGL and your record higher profits. <laughs> not as visually dramatic but it's more of a um i mean i'm probably angriest about this one to be honest we are now at energy australia and we're getting a much higher feed-in tariff 
And if you have also been shunned the way that we were for heightening your ability to contribute back to the solar grid, I would heartily suggest you shop elsewhere. Thank you. So the next wretched thing we're going to destroy is this husk knife. These knives are absolute garbage. They are sold via parasitic Instagram marketing and they're made of, well, this one here specifically is made of a pot metal instead of a knife metal. And uh, in general, they're some of the crappiest knives you can buy, especially if they show up looking like this. Had a recent husk that wasn't as bad, but this one sucks. effects for sure 10 out of 10 might need to give the blade a little bit of a touch up but overall it's still very much an axe shape whereas this guy here well not so good let's see how the hammer works Overall, I feel like it destroyed the sewing machine a little bit better than it destroyed the husk knife, which I guess was just pure metal, even if it's pot metal, still doesn't really want to explode apart as well as a, uh, a good old smashed up sewing machine. So uh, that's, uh, you know, still a win, uh, still good. I've, uh, you know, scuffed up the handle just a little tiny bit, but hey, that's going to happen on a rugged rescue tool like this. The edge there is pretty, you know, pretty chiseled up, pretty chipped up, but uh, let's see how easy it is to repair it. That's going to be something I reckon is a workshop job. Yeah, or maybe a Tormek job. A little bit too much loss there for me to hit it with the old stones, I think. Yeah, we've got all this sewing machine everywhere. Someone's been in here acting like a damn fool. Alrighty, so we're gonna see how we can repair this edge, which is pretty beat up on the workshop, get it back to being a implement of destruction. So this workshop tool, pretty simple, pretty basic. Basically a mini, mini belt sander. I'm just kind of going to eyeball it, freehand it, get an edge back on as similar as I can to the original factory. Definitely an edge back on there. It was even maybe sharper than it was. Let's have a look. Yeah, still about the same. That same level of thick, chunky boy. 
sort of slices, sort of just rips and tears. Uh, maybe it could be a bit sharper. Probably need some kind of strop or something on there. There's probably a bit of bearing going on, whatever. But definitely back to being a an edged tool rather than, well, that. I guess that's a suitable mess, isn't it? I don't know. I have no metric of comparison. I guess there's a little bit more leverage on this grand just because the handle is a bit longer. Really get yourself a little window in there. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Yes, it's definitely not as uh, hole punchy as a longer axe, that's for sure. Right. Maybe you get your hammer there, and you got yourself an entrance. Maybe I stand a bit corrected. Alrighty, so despite the title of the video, um, I can't for sure say it, but I'm relatively certain that this piece of aluminium and the coconut you're about to see are not evil, but uh, you know, I still thought I would destroy them just in the process of testing the hatchet thing out. Yeah, so uh, look, these sort of uh, tools, they're kind of that spontaneous use where you might use them a few times in earnest. I think most people are going to buy this because it looks cool and it makes you feel good. Um, but you know what? If you do need to use this to hack through some man-maids, you're going to do that absolutely fine. Uh, each time I've used it against something kind of crazy hard, I've had to like retouch it up with the, the, uh, the belt sander type tool like the workshop. I treat this a little bit like a lawnmower blade, you know, like a tool like this. It's thick. It's uh, you know, it's it's not a uh, not a precision tool by any sense, but it's uh, designed to do a, a rough job, hit a rock every now and then. And so yeah, you know, the edge isn't uh, ever going to be like one of my knives, but it's you know pretty easy to shape it back into something that's going to continue to to do the job. So always a bit of a, a bit of an odd review, odd thing to review, something that's basically just a fun object. But uh, this is definitely a fun object that does its intended purpose pretty well. So always difficult to test an item such as this when I am most certainly not a hardcore tactical type of bro, but I feel like it's definitely worthy of its spec as something to destroy things. Uh, if you need to knock a door handle through a door, if you needed to break open a, I don't know, sewing machine, uh, then this is certainly something that uh, would do the job as well as looking pretty darn cool as well.